now we will be moving on to our next part that is what is principal component analysis so principal component analysis it is uh, mostly used for the uh, vector uh, for the hyperspectral data if you have a uh, hyperspectral image which contain number of bands so uh, for example i have i will open a uh, image in erdas imagine here now this is the image of washington dc i think so if you can uh, see the bands so it has almost 191 bands so uh, for remote sensing studies if you want to use all the bands so that will uh, not be possible so uh, we will uh, use the principal component analysis method by virtue of which we will uh, compress this information in all the bands to the limited number of band in such a way that we will have maximum information but limited number of bands simply you can uh, understand this as if i uh, compress 191 bands into four or five bands but they contain the information which is contained in 191 bands so this is actually a uh, principal component analysis a proper definition of principal component analysis is that it decorrelates the data by transforming the dn distribution around set of new multi spaced axes it condenses the information in 191 bands into few bands which will be called as principal components right so uh, this is the proper definition of principal component analysis now let's perform principal component analysis and relate the things with the theory here i have opened my image now one thing to note that this image can be obtained uh, online from this link which is shown in the screen you can easily download image from here it is almost 145 mb washington dc mall image right and uh, similarly there is another image you can use that as well so uh, moving on we will go to the raster section go to the spectral section and in the spectral section we will have a principal component tab we have to input our image which in our case is now dc dot tiff we have to output our image and name it as pca of dc <laughs> click okay and you have to declare the data type float single or float double if you want some other data type it's okay now i will uh, be compressing 191 bands into four components right so uh, i will be executing it click okay to execute it and the process once completed we will uh, analyze the image now once the process is completed you have to add your image pca dc here now you can see that it is decompressed into four components right component 1 principal component 1 principal component 2 principal component 3 and principal component 4 so we have four components right so according to the lecture theory we covered that principal component analysis uh, if i select the metadata here the first component it contains the maximum information and the second contains the next maximum right and the third contains slightly uh, lower information than the first and the second and similarly the fourth contains slightly more lower information than the first second and third so uh, i will relate some concepts of principal component analysis by using the histogram now here you can see that this is the first component it has the spread from this point to this point moving on this is the second component right moving on to the third component and moving on to the fourth component here one thing to notice is that in the first component data has a large spread it means that it contains the maximum information right and in the fourth component you can see that it has limited information or 
um, uh, we can uh, say that it has less information as compared to the first component first layer now we have covered in the lecture that when uh, our four components they are formed the first component it is usually along the maximum variation of the data and the second component that is orthogonal to the first but it contains the remaining maximum information the third component it is at 90 degree to both the first and the second and it contains the remaining maximum information so in this way you can analyze your principal component right four now here i can check all the layers one and notice that different features they are visible and highlighted now i will make all the layers two right and notice that many features they are visible but not like the first one similarly if you want to go for the third component you can see that the information is continuously decreasing right and in the fourth we will have limited information than the first now here you can see i have the fourth component right now let's compare the fourth with the first one now you can see that the first one it contains more information so uh, we will revise that principal component analysis is simply a technique in which we uh, compress our data from a large number of band into limited band but they contain the maximum information and the first component has the maximum uh, spread and maximum information and the last component will have the minimum spread and the minimum information so this is uh, about pre uh, principal component analysis how to perform it and how to interpret it this is all for today's lab. Thank you.